black culture. Peace. See, for black people, our culture is concealed. It is beneath the Europeans who believe we are still not free. Free? We are not free. They pillaged our beliefs. They told us we cannot leave. Our ancestors were raped. Male, female, they were butt breaked. They were tortured with hate. Weapons, words, animals, and even worse. See, we had kings and queens. We had kingdoms and empires. See, what they teach us is a lie. A doctrination, yeah, that's right. They keep the truth between not you or I, but them, them who lie. See, they didn't teach you about Mansa Musa from Mali, laws of the minds, the wise, the Western emperor, the co current then and now, wealthiest person to ever live. But what about Queen Nani Ashanti, the leader of the Jamaican Maroons, freedom fighters? Just like the Black Panthers, a group formed to protect black people from the KKK. But it was dismantled by the US government. But the KKK still exists today. Ask yourself, furthermore, ask your government why is such a pessimistic clang still around and not banned. See, they colonized our culture. They deceived, manipulated our ancestors, betrayed, beaten on our knees. Over 500 million enslaved and killed. Why? Why couldn't it be different? Just because of colour. Colour, colour, colour. They changed our names, our country's name. Africa was not called Africa. Africa was called Akeblan. Then, a white European conqueror by the name Scipio Africanus named after himself. Akeblan means land of the black. Free, before we were controlled and deceived. Furthermore, we had not culture, which is now co-current called Nigeria. We had dark chicken, which is now co-current called Ghana. We had many Matapa. Emperor, which is now a current called Somalia. Our culture is not, nor were we in a deficit. Our culture, our heritage, was robbed. Our Keblan was lucrative, preeminent, and superlative. See, our culture created pyramids, one of the oldest civilizations, Egyptians, created maths. Science, the calendar, Kemp's Black Land, Unity, Black Culture, Peace. That's why even in our textbooks in school, they don't like to teach our children about black inventions. Because even greater than our African history are our American inventions. Because from nowhere, you're coming up with things that revolutionize the American social an economic order. Well, basically, there is a proverb that says that the only thing that peoples of European descent ever created was the patent office, because they stole everybody else's ideas and put their name on it. During slavery, because you were the property of your master, a lot of what we invented was automatically given credit to the master. The credit was forwarded to the master because we was property. We weren't allowed to take fame or notoriety for the things we created. Anything that made work easier, why would white people want to invent something that make work easier when they have black folks to do it? You have a huge incentive to try to get things uh, to move smoothly so that, you know, you don't get any more lashes, you know, or somebody doesn't now have to sell someone else in your family. You know, you know there, were, there was a lot of incentive to create, uh, create invention. And that's another thing. Most of our black inventors had to deal with idea theft. White folks would come in and say, we did it first because we didn't necessarily know the process or have the money to patent our inventions. So white folk would find out what a black person invented and go do it real fast and get their application in because back then the process wasn't as thorough as it is now. Whoever got there. Yo guys, it's your boy, Mr. Hurricane, Hurricane Memphis. 
Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you really liked it, please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Furthermore, if you really liked it, share around this video. I really appreciate it. Um, before we finish the video, I just want to have, I have a book I want to promote. I created a book. It's called The Nature of Hard Work, right? This book, it gives you an insight of how to work hard. And I can read you some of the table contents. So the first chapter is the concept of working hard and motivation. Chapter two is staying motivated in an academic environment. Chapter three, excelling in sports. Chapter four, hard work and the concept of healthy living. Chapter five, the challenge of procrastination. Chapter six, the developing the virtue of patience. Chapter seven, trusting the divine power of good. And chapter eight is never stop asking questions. As you can see, the book really covers all areas of working hard in life. It's called The Nature of Hard Work. It's streaming on all platforms. Amazon, Kindle, paperback version, which is an actual hard copy, digital, which is Amazon Kindle, the £2.70 in Amazon Kindle. Also, on the paperback version, it's only £4.70 and audible version, versions as well. It's ACX and Amazon Audible and iTunes and Apple Music and I really recommend getting this book if you really struggle if you need motivation if you want to read a book throughout the quarantine that we're in you know um this will really help you get on with your journey in life the nature of hard work on all platforms Thank you for watching my video. Once again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a like, comment, and share this video around. And don't forget to get your book, The Nature of Hard Work. It's on Amazon. Search out right now, you'll find it. The only thing you might have to do, once you search up The Nature of Hard Work, you might have to change your filter to books only, and then you'll find it for sure. Thank you, and now.